Previously, Nicolas Maduro, the Venezuelan president, said that the Trump administration couldn't be any worse than the Obama administration. Well, it's already been revealed that the new U.S. administration is talking regime change in Venezuela and has made it public that it will seek a regime change in Venezuela disguised as a transition towards democracy because apparently all the times Maduro was elected doesn't really count as democracy because when your guy doesn't win, then the system must be rigged. Now, this comes from the new Secretary of State, Rex Tillerson, who was chosen by Donald Trump, is a former executive in Exxon Mobil. He said, if confirmed, I would urge close cooperation with our friends in the hemisphere, particularly Venezuela's neighbors, Brazil and Colombia, as well as multilateral bodies such as the OAS, to seek a negotiated transition to democratic rule in Venezuela. I frankly couldn't think of anything more American than an oil executive being placed as the Secretary of State. And again, more of Donald Trump's claim that he's going to drain the swamp. Of course, his claim about transition in Venezuela completely ignores the fact that the U.S. has been attempting to sabotage the country ever since Hugo Chavez was democratically elected to the country over to leadership of the country over a decade ago. And there has been several rounds of attacks on the country by organizations that were funded and usually aimed and controlled by the United States. This is simply about revenge. As a former CEO of ExxonMobil, in 2007, late President Hugo Chavez ordered the nationalization of 22 major multinational corporations which were operating in the country. One of those was ExxonMobil, who was headed by Tillerson at the time. And now, all of a sudden, he has a desire to punish and hurt Venezuela? Hmm. This sounds a lot like an act of revenge to me. You see, what happened was when they took over those multinational corporations, they, he was offered a compensation deal for the loss of the company. He was offered a billion dollars U.S. And he decided to take Venezuela to court instead, and he demanded $10 billion for the loss of private property. But... The CEO, despite usually winning in court, actually lost, and his company settled for $1.6 billion. So this completely reeks as an act of revenge on behalf of the oil industry, particularly one CEO who must have suffered some kind of losses as a result of Venezuela nationalizing the oil industry, which the oil industry in the U.S. was using to sabotage the country. So again, we see... Donald Trump didn't really drain the swamp and, in fact, really just filled it with more of the same, including oil executives who have a personal grudge against the democratic state of Venezuela. Thank you for watching. If you like this program, then please head over to my Patreon page and set up a monthly donation. It's your donations that keep this program running. Also, if you would like, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share in various social media.